Hey everybody, this is BHQ Pro Aaron Lasseur. I'm out here on the California Delta today. It's April 3rd and we're giving you a quick fishing report. I'm here with my good buddy. This is Kevin Stewart, uh, Top This Pro. And we want to give you a quick report. We came out here to test a new hook by CHT, the double wacky hook. Uh, I'll show you guys that quick that hook right there real quick. We primarily threw this today. We came out here to do a little testing. The Senko bite has been really good out here. So 95% of our fish came on this. So Kevin, why don't you tell them what happened in the morning? Well, we started out this morning. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched my Delta report from last week, but uh, I've been trying to get a little time on the water while I've been home uh, on, on the off limits for Beaver Lake. But started out this morning, uh, water, our air temperatures have been up. It's really comfortable today. In fact, it's really, it's nice today. It's beautiful. We had overcast skies this morning. So uh, Aaron and I took advantage of that. Slicked out water and we both started throwing top water. I was throwing a wake bait. Aaron was throwing a Zara's boot. And we spent the first probably two hours of this morning, you know, trying to coax these big females into coming up and eating some top water. But we didn't have any luck. So we ended up uh, going to the old faithful Cinco and uh, having Aaron. We ran around and did some stuff like that. So, you know, in the afternoon, uh, when, the water, when we had the right tide and the sun was up, we decided to go and try to do a little bed fishing and we found a bunch of little bucks up on there. We had a lot of fun just hooking a bunch of those and testing out some stuff and shaking the dust off of our uh, bed fishing skills. We saw a lot of giants, we didn't hook any then, but then uh, if you guys happened to see Kevin's report last week, you know they had a heartbreak and a run in with a sea lion. And I got to tell you, I can't believe it because it's hard not to... When you hear it, you may not really believe it, but Kevin's got to tell you that a story that I witnessed firsthand and I'm still in shock. Yeah, you guys, uh, you know, last week when I did the report, um, we had just got through catching one about eight pounds and about 10 minutes after that, uh, I was out with Jordan Panasco and he had a little two pounder on and a big sea lion came up and ate it. And, you know, kind of scared me a lot. I jumped all the way to the back of the boat, and I, I've, t I've told Aaron about this story, and we happen to be in the same area again today, and uh, we got into that area, and sure enough, um, Aaron hooks into one about five pounds, which we got in the box we're going to show you guys here, and uh, he's getting it out right now, but we go along. <laughs> <laughs> we might we might show you later. <laughs> the little one. That's not the five pounder. <laughs> We're gonna continue on here. Anyways, Eric catches this five pounder and uh, we get it in the boat and uh, I, I go along. Aaron throws out again and uh, he he's got a little one on and I throw out you know that CHT wacky hook and. I, I got I, it, this is I got a I got a dog on I mean I go Aaron I got a big one on and it jumps and I, I we're fun fishing I don't normally say get the net but I said like get the net because I wanted to get this fish in the boat it was well over eight pounds it wasn't over ten but it was in the eight to ten pound class range and all of a sudden it just starts it takes off I mean it's pulling I'm, I'm throwing fifty pound braid and it's pulling drag and out of nowhere here comes that sea lion again I, I was I was just floored and. He had my big fish and that, I was really heartbroken today. And Aaron's up there standing there with a net and he spits that fish and Aaron's like, reel it in. And I'll start cranking it as fast as I can. I mean, I'm surfing this big old fish as fast as I can, which it already had a big giant piece taken out of it. And that sea lion pulled back up on that fish and I just had to hold the line and break it. But um, that took me a little bit to get over with. I, I, I mean, I don't mind seeing a, a, you know, a one and a half to three pound fish getting eat up. But, to lose a big fish of that quality, um, that that one hurt me today. And not only that, I would love to add a pitcher with it. But um, as the day progressed, I mean, we continued to catch a lot of fish today. It was fun. It was my last day out here on the Cal Delta um, for about three more weeks, and uh, uh, we fished all we fished all around the Central Delta again today. Um, a beautiful day. Aaron and I caught a lot of fish, and then you know he had a heartbreaker. In fact. This is the only fish that we dropped on the CHT all day, and it was it, it was it, it was user error for sure. <laughs> We're on the main channel, and Kevin's on the phone talking to Zach Thompson, who is the uh, brainchild behind the CHT hook, and. My line's moving, but I don't. I, I, we're fishing some current, and so Kevin's talking on the phone and goes, "Hey, dude, yeah, you got him." 
So I do, I, I, I set, I, I kind of did a little wimpy set on the hook and the fish comes right at the boat and I see it. I mean, this thing's, it's, it's my, gonna be my big fish of the year. So it's, it's eight, it's hard to tell it's in the water, but it, it, it was, was pretty big. It was, a, it was another eight to 10 pound So I yelled to Kevin to, to get the net. He gets off the phone with Zach and as soon as he goes to grab the net, that hook just comes flying off shooting at me and the fish jumps out of the water and if you ever wanted to see two grim, grown men cry today you probably <laughs> would have seen it today so but we had a good time let me see if i can get this this big one out of here we got a couple good ones in the box but these fish are hot uh we, we still had a good day I got, I got one if i can get the other one oh there it is we caught a lot of fish on the uh, the CHT and the Senko wacky style was the was the. Oh my goodness! It's hard to get these fish are alive and frisky. Okay, so that one's got a cold clip in it. There's a couple. I mean, that one. This one here is over five. That one's probably uh, four in and a half. half. This one's probably in the four. And I mean, this is what we caught. Let alone the two giants that we lost today. So if you get a chance right now to get, come out on the Delta, you do yourself a favor, you're gonna have a good time. You'll go through, through some areas that may not have any fish, but be patient and keep at it. So until next time, stay focused, fish hard, and Kevin and I, will see you out on the water. Yep. You guys take care.